Hello, people. Another beautiful day. Yep, and yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. Excellent. Good. Okay. Remnant 2 on the Steam Deck needs a little update. It needs a, a little update from the developer side and probably from Valve side. So that game needs a, a nice, a nice little update. Uh, PC and game had an article on it, but the way the way the um the way the editor was going up, going on about it was a big exaggeration. So Remnant 2 needs an update, right? Okay. Now we got a new docking station now. It's it's the basis six in one docking station for the Steam Deck. It has one HDMI 2.0 port, <laughs> and then it has three USB A ports and one USB C port, uh, port. And the Ethernet is 1,000 megabytes per second, and power delivery 100 watts. So with three USB A, it means that you can um, you can connect a um, external SSD to it because a USB port. Uh, holds 127 devices so with the steam deck with with those three USB a ports you can, you can put like say like uh, a, a solid state drive external uh, external uh, a solid state drive uh, you can have your keyboard your mouse and you can um uh, you can um like uh, connect some controllers to it and or you or with the three USB a port you can get a um you can get an adapter that has like six six USB ports on it, and then connect and then connect some more uh connect your keyboard mouse, uh your uh, your controllers all that to it so yeah, because a, a USB ports it, it holds 127 devices, so uh, that's what because uh, USB stands for Universal Serial Bus, yeah, but you know um and then um you get a, like a, a six six port hub and then. Connect it to one of those, uh, to one of the, to one of the three, and then connect some extra, uh, like your keyboard, mouse controllers, or what, whatever you plan to connect, uh, your headset, stuff like that, you know, to um, to like play your games and stuff like that. So, uh, this little uh, docking station is uh, fifty nine ninety nine. So um, it's a six in one. Game radar game gave it a five star, but um, to me, JSOC still got it beat, <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> and um, when it comes to um, uh, Remnant, um, it needs some. Uh, it just needs some updates, and that's it. Uh, PC PC and games took it kind of too far. Like I said, like they they try to exaggerate things, and sometimes a lot of the sometimes the editors at PC and games, some of them are Nintendo uh, Nintendo fans. And they try to take shots at the Steam Deck sometimes, but. They know that they not even the switch don't can't even compete with the Steam Deck. They they know. <laughs> Other than that, what else? What else I got for you? Now, I seen something on gaming on Linux, and I think they have. Uh, let's see here. What I got? Gaming on Linux had. Let's see. What he had? Uh, let's see. Remnant Valve. Oh yeah, Homeworld Remaster Collection. This from the Epic Game Store. So yeah. If you're a big fan of space games, it says Homeworld Remaster Collection and ser Servered Steel are free on Epic Games. As a space nerd, I can I can I couldn't miss telling you that you can grab the entire Homeworld Remaster Collection free on Epic Game Store right now, thanks to Wine slash Proton. They're all playable on Linux and Steam Deck. Two, <laughs> not T W O but T O O. <laughs> Grabbing games from Epic. Linux is a trivial nowadays to thanks to the excellent heroic game launcher which just had a big update and then it says uh, Homeworld Remaster Collection is rated Steam Deck unsupported but it works but it was rated as playable previously and it also rated gold on ProtonDB and it says Homeworld Remaster Collection also recently had an update to add in cross-platform multiplayer between Steam and Epic, so grabbing it free would still enable you to play with friends uh, elsewhere. And it says, as it should be, grab it free on the Epic uh, Games until August 3rd. Now, alright, what else I got for you? 
Let's see what else I got for you little Steam Deck nerds. What what else do I have? Alright, what else I have? Okay, what else do I have? Let's see here. Okay, Homeworld. Okay. Oh oh yeah. One one more little bundle deal for you little Steam for you little nerds. Steam Deck nerds that is. <laughs> Baldur's Gate, Never Winter Nights, Path Fan Path. Pathfinder and more in this bundle. It says here, uh, this bundle originally came with pre ordered copy of Myth Force, which seemed to have been removed, but the rest are still great. Article has been updated to remove it. It's not to confuse people. And it says here, uh, this seems like a game bundle not to be missed if you're an RPG fan. Humble bundle. Has teamed up with Beam Dog for the RPG Legends, Baldur's Gate, and beyond, using the usual rating system of Steam Deck Verified Proton DB and native Linux. Note to save you click around, clicking around. And then it says each game title is also a Steam link in case you need more info. It says here uh, in the full bundle you get Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. Baldur's Gate 2 Enhanced Edition, uh, Steam Deck Playable, Linux Native, Steam Deck Playable, Linux Native, Never Winter uh, Nights Enhanced Edition, and um, Steam Deck Linux, uh, Steam Deck Playable, Linux Native, uh, Pl Plains Planescape uh, Torment Enhanced Edition, Steam Deck Underrated, no Steam Deck Unrated, Linux Native. <laughs> And then it says the uh, Ice Dale Enhanced Edition, Steam Deck Verified, Linux Native. And then Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, <laughs> Steam Deck Playable, and Proton DB Gold. And what else? Anything else? That is that. So, yeah. You Steam Deck fans are uh, covered when it comes to games, deals, and updates. But, um,. Uh, there, there are some more updates, and um, should be coming coming in the in the next couple of days. So I'll keep you guys posted on it. Whatever, what's going on with the Steam Deck? But, but other than that, you guys are uh, good. <laughs> you and your games, you and your deals, and you and, and you and them crazy updates. And ever since the Steam Deck came out, man, it's been lights out. It's been lights out. Um, it's just, you know, it's been so it's an impressive machine to play on, too. You know, and the good thing about it is too, you know, like um, you know, Sony has their support on it, so uh, you can play their you, you can play their games or you can play Xbox games on it. Yep. And let's see, okay, Heroic Game Launcher. Anything else? Okay, so Heroic Launcher. 2.9 is out now with Amazon Game Support. Mm, look at you. Getting spoiled again. <laughs> Says here, make it easier than ever to grab all your games. The Heroic Game Launcher version 2.9.0 is out now. And this brings with it amazing game support. If you have Amazon Prime, you can get a bunch of games each month to claim through, to claim through Prime Gaming. And no doubt, some of you will build up a quite... Some of you have built up quite a collection, right? Not me. I haven't built up my collection yet. <laughs> Says here, now you can just grab them on Linux desktop and Steam Deck with the with Heroic. Also, sync your playtime tracking for God game is a nice touch too. <laughs> mm. It says here, uh, additionally, more streaming service should now work when added to Heroic as they had support for DRMs and browser apps although it's limited on Linux since we since we only get a certain level of stuff like wide vine uh, which is which the heroic team don't control and then it says here are all the main changes new features Amazon game support GPTK support DRM support for browser apps Proton DB and Steam Deck compatibility on game page playtime tracking for GOG possibility to disable log files and it says install their older DXVK on older hardware and it says fixes epic game account will no longer get logged out 
we launch into heroic, uh, heroic sometimes. God games will now remember their install path correctly. God goodies will now redirect users to their God account. Check and download games with HT, HTTPS. That's a, what's that? Hypertext. Let's see, let's see. HTTPS. Hypertext transfer protocol script. <laughs> I think I got it right. It says here in this advanced settings works again and it says pop, pop over and then it says pop over then in parentheses quotes help menus and settings now correctly opens and it says report a problem running this game instructions were updated Linux using the Steam runtime and flat pack now works Mac OS users will no longer get error message when launching Epic Games store without having crossover installed. Mm. Look at you little Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks. You and your deals, you and your games, and you and your updates. There, so there. Now, <laughs> you guys are you guys are covered with. And with all with all these um with all these games, deals, and update. All right. Anything else? If I miss something here. Okay, gaming on Linux. I know you got. I know you got something new. See if, see if he got anything new here. See if I miss some. See if I miss something here. Miss something here. Okay, I got the home world. Okay, let's see here. What's this? Check out the new demo for Aurora. It's A U R O A U R O R A. The Lost Medallion, the cave. Let's see what this one's talking about. Okay. What he says. Check out the new demo for Aurora. Aurora, <laughs> the Lost Medallion, the cave. And it says. Aurora, <laughs> the Lost Medallion, the cave is an upcoming uh, coming of age tale of destiny, friendship, and discovery from no, no Noma Games and Gamma Gamma Games. It is a hand-painted point-and-click adventure that will have full native uh, Linux support. And it says Aurora, the youngest in the inhabitants of caves, raised by intelligent machine in a hidden world, technological wonder, a group of kids spend their days uh, preparing for the mysterious uh, pilgrimage, each guided by an equal mysterious voice as the only child without the voice to guide her Aurora <laughs> must challenge the rig rigged society of the cave to gain the title of pilgrim and embark on an adventure to answer unsolved questions of, of her origins the developer said the new demo should give you around an hour of gameplay, but a bit longer if you find some puzzles challenging. Alright, mm. there you go Steam Deck fans, getting spoiled again, look at you. <laughs> Alright, what else I got for you? So we'll see what this uh, Gaming on Linux got here, what, what else he got? What is this? Prism Launcher for Minecraft Java has a nice bug fix. Mm. Here we go again. All right, let's see here. What do we got? Let's see if I can get this. Um, 50, let's see if I can get this. It says here. Uh, says here. Prism Launcher from Minecraft Java has a nice bug fix. Prism Launcher is easy. One of the best ways to play Minecraft Java on Steam Deck and Linux desktop, thanks to a clear interface and great modding. Support Prism Launcher 7.2 was just released to fix up some issues. The developers mentioned they fix various bugs, old and new, along with a few smaller features. It already works well, so it's nice to see a release focus on just general quality issue instead of always doing big new feature release. <laughs> ah, you Steam Deck fans are getting spoiled. Okay, what they got? What do they fix here? So what's been added? Uh, change included, let's see, added light mod support to mod browser, an option to always use system locale, automatically focus search for bar when opening resource browser, don't trash outdated mods when updating, fix, what's, what's, what's this, fix, curse uh, forge mod pack updater issues, and then say allow installation for curse forge mod pack that don't have any mods, various, mo that that don't have any mods, various crash bug fixes, and then it says Linux, add the close button to main toolbar when running on game scope, Linux, 
update Nix uh, lock Linux bundle generic OpenGL library in APL APPL uh, uh, APP uh, image uh, Linux fix duplicate shared directories Linux ins install app stream metadata in APPL image uh, plus more bug fixes yeah you Steam Deck fans are always getting spoils and you Linux gamers you and your deals you and your games and you and your uh, updates <laughs> so what else I got here anything else Let's see Let's see if I can go one more here all right I think you got I think you got something on uh, Nvidia I gotta pull it up okay Let's see what's this one okay I got the heroic launch I think I did that oh here we go Nvidia open source Nvidia Vulcan driver NV NVK gear up for merging into Mesa oh yeah <clears throat> that's all they do is what get spoiled anyway <laughs> says here uh, open source Nvidia Vulcan driver NVK gear up for merging into Mesa this is exciting as heck <clears throat> Colabora developer Faith Eek Strand and various contributors have, contributors have been powering through developing NVK, the open source Vulcan driver for NVIDIA. And then it says up, uh, it comes, whoops, so I can get this. That's my last one too. <laughs> it says it comes along rather nicely to, in such a short time that they are now preparing to have it actually merge into Mesa along with the rest of the open source graphics for Linux. Then it says here, uh, a majority of work was done by e Xtrand and Colora uh, Bora <laughs> with uh, Carol uh, Herbis from Red Hat also doing a lot of groundwork and done a lot of debugging, uh, figuring out what we need to do on various generations, plus Dave early of Red Hat also doing a bunch of needed Linux kernel work mm. and it says here what's current status according to the draft it has pretty solid set at this point which Google a uh, summer of code developers Mohammed Ahmed uh, working through YC BCR support when that is done it should have Vulkan 1.2 support with plenty of features on top of that <laughs> and what else says what's current status according to the draft it has a pretty solid set at this point which Google summer code summer of code developers oh no I just went over that <laughs> messed up here says here currently they don't have everything needed for DXVK or VKD 3D Proton in sync but they got most of it so perhaps it won't be too long until Nvidia GPU owners can use Mesa to run Vulkan games that would be pretty amazing <laughs> and says here as for hardware support Colabora told me initially turning 20xx 16xx series later eventually we want to go as far back as Kelper 6xx 7xx series their plan is to get it to merge into Mesa once the Linux kernel patch are ready so you need a newer patch kernel actually to make use of NVK yeah and the Vulcan Tribunal is going to issue a DMCA takedown because you guys can't spell Vulcan right. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's all the updates, reports I got on the Steam Deck and um, uh, Steam Deck and Linux Desktop Gaming. You guys are covered. You and your deals, your games, your update. That's enough updates to hold you till till the next day. <laughs> Yeah, you got your heroic uh, game launcher now with Amazon support. Oh yeah, you guys are good. So you got your uh, you got your free, you got your free games from Epic. You need to get pick that up. Uh, was it that Homeworld? And then you have your RPGs. You know, so yeah, to deal with. So you, uh, never uh, all those game all those those games you got to deal with. So yeah, to add to the list of games you already have. So yeah. Have fun, enjoy. Anyway, leave this video for y'all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars started.
Dark Side. Oh.